What is up guys, Andy Forrest, Steve Renner here and welcome back to another video and today is week six of this London Marathon training series. So I'm throwing you straight into the thick of the action and uh, I'm going to explain everything when I'm done because <laughs> it's a holiday week, I've overindulged already and uh, morning and uh, yeah, I'm uh, feeling a bit sluggish already, but 10 miles of marathon pace. It's all I'm doing, 60 minutes worth of work. I'm on a cycle trail, a cycle track, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna shut up, uh, cross this road, not get run over, and crack on. So I'm doing five miles out and five miles back. Just about to approach the turnaround, got 4.75 miles done. 6.03 average pace so far. Now, if you saw the video about training uh, this way to get stronger, you'll know it's all about running by feel. And uh, my heart rate this morning is really good. <laughs> Mid 150s, my breathing, and my body do not like this and I'm going by my body not my heart rate uh, obviously I'm on holiday mileage is down I've overindulged I've drank I've eaten so I'm going to be a bit sluggish this is a little bit of an injector into the holiday just as a reminder as to what I'm training for so yeah I'm going to get wrap this mile up turn around head back the other way Thursday morning so I'm back out here on holiday which is amazing I'm managing to get in a second run of the week which is awesome um, I'm back out here on the trail that I was running on Tuesday so how did Tuesday go I managed to average six flat per mile which is gold marathon pace really happy with that uh, can't complain and I've got to say overall the effort felt harder than the pace itself but the heart rate was decent average 157 overall so I can't complain I am on holiday and I am drinking a lot and I am eating a lot and uh, yeah just overall I'm having a good time and so I'm going to expect things to be a little bit harder but hopefully by getting out today as well I'm going to be able to negate the sluggishness when I get back so what am I doing today I'm out here doing another workout so as this week's a bit of a down week it's going to be focused all around quality so I'm just going to do eight by a k it is bloody hot <laughs> It's a really hot week this week. And of today, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we're gonna be hitting mid 30s, which I think is nearly 100. Uh, right now in the morning, it's eight o'clock and it's already 21 degrees. I'm sweating buckets and uh, basically I haven't got too long, so I can't go and find the most ultimate place to do it, which is about another mile out. So there's a beautiful flat road on this trail, but I am gonna run out to it. So I'm gonna do 4K reps out, 4K reps back, which means number two and number seven are gonna be quite slow because I've got to run through the middle of a town and dodge traffic, there's no pavement. So I'm not going to do anything stupid there, they might be really slow. But other than that, I'm going to give these a good go. Hopefully not melt, hopefully not wilt. And uh, yeah, see how we get on. It is crazy hot, so uh, yeah, wish me luck. Let's see what we can do on these ones. So actually we got all the slow stuff done in rep one. I managed to get through and out the other side of town. So I'm now on the stretch of road that I want to be on. I'm just going to go back and forth up and down here because it's really decent and really quiet. So that's two done, 231, 326. <laughs> Chase 
why I kill a clown. Form is absolutely everywhere, but uh, 326, 327, it's hot. I'll take it though, if I can just get this done, I don't care about the paces now, just put the effort in, work hard, get heat acclimated and get home. <laughs> Woo. 326 and 326 for reps 5 and 6 so one more back along this road and then one more back through town so hopefully one more solid rep and then the last one will be what it will be Three twenty-four, three twenty-four, and that last one was good. I did have to stop the watch to cross the road, uh, but overall, it was nice to get through town and scathe and finish relatively decently. That three thirty bugged me a bit, so. But it's all right. I am spent and knackered and everything else, but we got it done, and that's what matters, especially in this weather. Just getting some work done, getting heat acclimated. And yeah, I can go and do a 15 minute cool down, enjoy the rest of my holiday and see you on Saturday for a long run. So there we go, just like that, the holiday's over, but we're back out on the industrial estate, heading out to the trails now to uh, crack on with a long run. What's the plan today? Well, I'm not gonna do two and a half hours because it's a down week. Um, I'm gonna go for two hours, maybe two hours 10, but nothing more. And again, I'm just, clocking away at moderate pace, nothing stupid, nothing crazy. I feel really good actually. Uh, and I think I'm gonna be, again, reiterate, I was grateful I was able to get out twice last week just to uh, stop the sluggishness. Did my stretches and everything last night after a horrific journey home uh, in 35 degree heat, which it is again today and tomorrow. We have a heat wave. Love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So yeah, just, uh, out here getting it done, came back to an epic Say Sky uh, kit drop, which I'm so grateful for Say Sky for sending it to me. Uh, this is probably my second favorite drop they've sent me so far. It is a wonderful kit, so yeah, do check them out if, uh, if you get a chance. But I'm just starting the long run. I'm only just coming up to two miles in, so I'll touch base with you shortly and uh, keep you up to date with a couple of things. So a couple of things I just want to mention as we dive into this long run before we wrap the video up. Number one, a massive thanks to your generosity uh, for your donations to my uh, the charities that I'm raising money for my mum and my sister who I lost earlier this year. Really appreciate it and it's made me smile that I'm doing something that I can uh, to help. It's the only thing I can do but I feel, feel there's a purpose there and it feels, it feels good so I really appreciate it and uh, as I said in last week's video I have no obligation to raise a certain amount of money so absolutely no worries at all uh, about anything it's just the options there to donate if you wish to and i appreciate all of your kind donations so far so thank you very much number two in terms of training the down week we had this week wasn't in an ideal position because of course um we had a kind of a down week two weeks ago with the 10k but uh it was actually going to be either this week we went on holiday or the last week of uh, August, first week of September, and so I'm quite happy that it was this week <laughs> because now I have four big weeks, five big weeks, sorry, to build before a two week taper. And actually, the biggest long run will be at the end of the fourth week. Fifth week will still be big, uh, but the long run will just creep down slightly because I'll be doing the biggest long run three weeks out from London. So I'm excited to. Uh, enjoy the remaining uh, four or five weeks of this 
block. It's been a really good one so far. This week I've just had has allowed me to reflect on what I've been doing. I've sat there on a couple of occasions and gone through my Strava thinking what I might do differently in this last bit, um, what I'm happy with. And to be honest, there's nothing that I would change. Uh, I'm touch wood, feeling good, in a good place of fitness and I'm feeling pressure free because as I've said multiple times, I just wanna be aerobically fit for this, not marathon sharp. And I'll give the marathon a proper good go next April. Uh, this one is, I'll be going, I'll be giving it a good go, but you know, with my mum and my sister in mind uh, and it being London, there's an element where I wanna enjoy it. So I kinda wanna go 90 to 95% effort on this one and uh, just hold a bit back so I can smile all the way around. That's the goal anyway. So yeah, just thinking out here today as I'm getting this done, four or five big weeks left, a couple of disruptions over the next three weeks with some holidays. So replanning things next week, training is a complete mishmash, but I'll cover that next week. So yeah, just some thoughts I wanted to dump out there. Gonna crack on with this one and we'll touch base at the end and wrap things up. All right, so let's wrap it up here. I'm about, well, I've just gone over 12 miles into this. Um, I think the GPS is a bit messed up. I'm running quite well, but uh, the pace is creeping up. It's gone from 640s to early 650s to now 704 per mile. Okay, me for the future confirming GPS is out. I ran 3.9 miles to the start of the cycle track. The cycle track is 8.9 miles on my GPS or 8.91, which means I should have finished the cycle track at 12.8 miles. I finished it at 12.4. So I'm 0.4 of a mile out. So there we go. GPS is messed up. <laughs> and the faster I get, the slower the pace gets. So whatever, we're working on time. It doesn't matter. GPS is what it is. I set myself a goal of two hours, two hours, 10 today. And that is what we shall do. So two hours will be the magic number. I am starting to flag a bit. A lot of alcohol consumption last week. So I think, uh, that's all coming out, but I have to say, I don't think I've ever come back off holiday and run two hours. So I feel like this week I've just done has set me up in a good way. I don't feel like I've regressed as such. I feel like this week might be a bit rusty, but I'm not gonna feel like I've regressed, which is fantastic. So I'll put the final stats on the screen today for the run and, uh, and then of course of the week, put those up as well. So a nice low sub 40 mile week, uh, ready now for the final big push. Appreciate you tuning into this one guys. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel and stick around for the next few weeks because they're going to be big ones. I'll see you in the next one. Till then. <laughs>